All right, I got another box of cards to open today. I see your hand. You can see my hand? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I, I see can... your ring. Look, look over here where I'm opening it. There we go. Let's see what we got from eBay today. Yeah. Let's see if it's a scam. What we got? Wow. Really, uh... Went all out with the packaging here. What's this? Oh, it's actually a binder. There's more. More stacks of cards. More garbage. Okay. Let's look at one of these stacks of cards. What do we got here? Look like a bunch of old cards, so. Look at this. Get it. Oh, I see some old cards at the very end here. I mean, this isn't the best packaging I've ever seen because it's all loose like this, but it's definitely not the worst packaging I've ever seen. Lily, move your finger. Your finger's covering the camera so a bag within a bag with what looks like dirty cards and here's some not dirty cards that don't look new what we got here this is shadows over in a strad lily you gotta face the camera there we go This is mostly, if not all, garbage, which is fine. I like garbage. It did say it came with some bulk, so this is definitely quote-unquote bulk. Uh, what else we got here, Lily? More bulk. What is this? Battle for Zendikar? Oh, there's some old stuff. Some really crappy looking 10th edition. <laughs> some Mirrodin. Some crappy cards from Mirrodin. 13th. Some Origins. Uh, what is this? The Innistrad block? I can't remember. Uh, whatever that Innistrad block is. More Origins. Pretty crappy, uh, bent. Uh, what is that? Magic Eternal or something? What's it called? Eternal Masters? I think this is some kind of modern Masters. Just crappy... Crap commons. Oh, some cool old Mirrodin cards, though. I mean, you never know in these bulk bins. Might find some cool stuff. Hey, you want to hold this for me for a second? Here, put it over here. Let's take a look. What we got here? Move your thumb. Your finger's in the way. Your finger's in the way. There we go. Ooh, old Champions of Kamigawa. Some scars of Mirrodin. Really messed up Necrobite. Some Avacyn Restored. It's a little bit of crappy cards from everything here. Kind of try to center it on the cards. Nothing really crazy in here. I mean, some cool old stuff for sure. Then we got bags inside of bags, right? Let's see what's in the bags inside of bags here. Got some stuff in sleeves for some reason. Just a whole bunch of blind pages. Okay. 
I'm guessing this is complete four card sets of these. Lily, stop moving the camera around, please. Is this just a whole crap load of mind rots? Yes, it is. Let's see. What else we got? Ooh, Rune Claw Bear. Some old lands. Dude, look at that old land. That's a. This is a fourth edition. A fourth edition land. Ooh, a revised land. Seventh edition, Ice Age. Some of these old lands can be worth a little bit. I know you're trying really hard, Lily, but you're kind of forgetting what you're doing and <laughs> looking to the side while you veer off. Oh, look, this card's got, like, syphilis or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> old Mercadian mask. I like the colors that they had for the borders <laughs> and the old, like, Mercadian mask, Odyssey era. Real defined. I don't like these... New soy boy skinny borders. I liked when they were thick, like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, Dad. Do you want me to help my nail polish? The what? My nail polish. Oh, some more old revised lands. Cool. What about your nail polish? About these nail polish. I think she wants it off. We're trying to take the nail polish off? Mm -hmm. Dude, I love all these old lands. Like, it's seems really stupid, but a whole bunch of these lands are worth over a dollar. Doesn't make any sense, right? Are they popular artists? Well, like, come here. They're just, they're pretty. Like, they're not like the new <laughs> stupid crap artists that are probably uh, some kind of AI generated or something. Like, this is a newer. That's really cool. That's not a newer one. That's that's a promo. Look at that. So it's more traditional. So look, look, yeah. Like digital. Like it looks like a fantasy. Like Odyssey had like really cool fantasy lands. Mm -hmm. Or this is a newer one. It's like, oh great, a swamp. What the fuck is that? That looks like crap. I mean, some of the newer art's cool, but like even just like Mirrodin, like look at this old Mirrodin art. It was like look like an actual painting or something because it probably was or like look at this or look, look at that like that when you think island there we go that's an island well, let's find a new island and we'll see or that that's classic where's one of these newer islands that's seen better days Well, I'm never going to find any new islands, but you, you get the point. The newer artwork is muted. It's not... It's digital art. Yeah, it looks digital or I mean, it's still probably, AI generated. No, it's probably still art. It's just it's done on a tablet instead of paper. It's been upscaled or run through at least some kind of Photoshop or something. This is just a whole bunch of 4th edition. Fourth edition is the. This is the first set when I got into Magic. Yeah, yeah. That's so cute. Some cheap, easy fourth edition cards that I won't sell. Because good condition old cards I don't sell. Mm -hmm. So, I trade for them. Check out my deck box. Mm. But I will not. Remove from my collection old cards that are in good condition. Oh, there's a newer card. That's from Jumpstart. Black Cat. Yeah. Some real hard hitters here, guys. Some old, uh, what is this? Betrayers of Kamigawa. Kamigawa set was really hated when it came out, but it ended up having a lot of cards that are worth a lot of money. 
So, naturally, I collected a whole bunch of Kamigawa because <clears throat> it was cheap. But I made a lot of money holding on to them. This is mostly new stuff. You can tell just from the ink. The ink looks all glossy. It's probably from some printing shop in China. I'm touching lead right now. The newer cards. Yeah, this is nothing. Just new stuff. So, definitely a cool stack of cards. I mean, I didn't pay very much for this. This uh, collection of cards. Let's check out the binder. The dude didn't take very many pictures of the binder. So it's going to be kind of a mystery. Oh, he got it from uh, the Idaho Youth Ranch. Some uh, some thrift store for a dollar thirty nine. Yeah, it's the it's he he shipped it from Boise, Idaho, and it says it's the Idaho Youth Ranch. So so shout out to the the thrift store, the Idaho Youth Ranch for it's not a thrift store. what is it? Idaho Youth Ranch helps kids and families in Idaho face trauma suicide and loss of at-risk behaviors through proven trauma focused therapies. Oh, look at this. Swords. Too bad it's in really crappy condition, though. I think it's one of those. That's moderate play. I'll sell that. Oh, yeah? I always like the artwork in this one. It's really risque. They wouldn't fucking make that anymore. Is Grinning Totem a... Reserve list card? I can't remember. Ooh, an old Rod of Ruin and an old Ice Flow. I don't think the Ice Flow is worth anything. <coughs> old Reserve uh, conser Conservator. Yeah, I think it's one of those places that you send trouble kids, but it might yeah. actually like, it seems like it's actually legitimate yeah, and it's a scary one. I need to yeah. turn the page. Can we turn the page? Yeah. Ooh, Pit Trap. That was one of the first cards I ever got because it's Ice Age 4th Edition. Some <laughs> Fallen Empire. That is unironically my favorite set. Wait. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. I have AIDS. Or allergies. Or allergies. One of the two. <coughs> I haven't gotten tested for AIDS yet, so it could be AIDS. Not since you got out of the yeah. Oh, let me get over here. Okay. Ooh, look at this cool old uh, portal. It's an old portal card. Look how obnoxious the text was. Come here real quick. Yeah, my knee, dude. I want to show you these old portal texts. Oh, look at that sweet old... Uh, what is that? The dark? But... They came out with this set called Portal, and it was supposed to be an introductory set for, like, people that don't know how to play Magic. So they were obnoxiously bold text. <laughs> Obnox because if you don't know how to play Magic, then you also can't read. Yes, exactly. That's, that's true. I'm so excited to turn the page. You're excited to turn the page? Yes. Uh, false demise. Watch your fingers. What else we got here? Nice little puppet master. Already. Lots of cool old stuff in here. Look at these old. I I haven't. Watch out! Move your hand. I don't think. Are these revised or is this uh, unlimited? I can't. I can't remember if it's the thick borders like that. That are revised or unlimited. I'm gonna have to compare to my cards. <clears throat> oh, what set is that? Portal 2? Oh, wow. Wow, there's a whole bunch of Portal 2 in here. That's 
excellent. That shit's got to be worth something. I'm sure. Oh, look at this sweet old banshee. Wow. Blighted shaman. Uncle Istavan. I remember Donnie used to play that card all the time. Super annoying. Oh, look at this sweet old Legends cards. Yeah. Chronicles. Chronicles is not worth as much. <gasps> Still cool. Gotta love these. Move your hand, Lily. Uh, more Legends. Him to Torok. I can't remember how to figure out if it was unlimited. It's either bold or unbold. Either you can see the line around it or you can't. You know what? Let's find one of these lands. See if we can figure this out. Because the lands are usually revised. Yeah, would you look at that? Okay, so... See how that's a solid line right there for the border, that black line? If you go over to these, you can see, well, you can't see very well on that one. Let's look at one of these other ones. That isn't a black one. There we go. You can see there's, uh, let's see if I can do it side by side. One of them has like a shadowy border right here and the other one has a solid border and one of these is revised and the other one is unlimited and i can't remember which is which off the top of my head can you look that up <coughs> the border difference between revised and unlimited because i have different different ones and the ones that are unlimited are older so they're usually yeah. worth a lot more The border, it, just look, Google the border difference of revised and unlimited. One of the big differences between unlimited and revised cards is the bevel border on the outside. If you look closely at the left and right edges of the card, you'll see that in unlimited there's a solid black line and a slightly lighter gray line towards the side of it. So, so the, the unlimited ones have the bevel? And the revised don't have the bevel? Unlimited has a black line and then a slightly lighter gray line inside of it. That's a bevel, right? So you can see that's a really crappy condition. But this one's got a bevel. It's hard to see on this one. And that one doesn't. Oh wait, that's... No, that's a that's a 6th edition. Because it's got a date on it. This one, let's see. That one's got a solid, so that's revised. Hmm. God, look at that cool iron hoof ox. The artwork was so cool back in the day. Oh, look at this goblin hero, dude. See, look, you can see this is a solid. That's this is, revised. That's revised? Oh, there's so many. <coughs> so, is... no, if it has a date, it's not revised or unlimited. Here, I'll show you. So, look, see how that has a bevel? Yeah, that's unlimited. So, this is unlimited. Because it has a box so inside the box. So, the unlimited ones are usually worth a hell of a lot more. Because they're from, like, right after beta, unlimited came out. What were you looking at? I think we saw these. <coughs> just a whole bunch of... Oh, there's the ox that we were looking at before. Ooh. Love that goblin hero. Dude, uh, Shadow Storm. <laughs> Deals two damage to each creature with shadow. Man, that's super helpful nowadays. Watch out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fire Brute. Move your hair. Dude, this collection is dope, dude. This dude, he did not take pictures of what he had, and I gambled on this binder, and there is 
So much dope shit in this binder. Can you, uh... Can you price check something for me? This, uh... I, I love this monstrous growth. Look at the giant... Look at the giant squirrel. Look at the giant squirrel, Lily. Isn't that cute? Uh, it's a, a plated worm from, I think... Yeah, plated worm. Like armor plated. Worm as in... Uh, W-U-R-M. Uh, I think it's from Portal 2. You got it. I don't think it's worth very much, but... Yeah. It's a dime? Okay, it's not worth much. I just thought it had really cool artwork, so... Sometimes that's a driving factor. Move your fingers. Cool cat warriors. Look at the cat warriors. Glyph of reincarnation. Oh, look, she's got boobies. Trapdoor spider. Some of these uh, Ice Age cards are probably on the reserve list. Uh, Command of Unsummoning. Watch your hand. It's a good card. Chaos Warlord. Or Chaos Lord. <coughs> this looks like light play, though. Can you look up how much a Chaos Lord is from Ice Age? I don't think a lot of this stuff is maybe worth over $10. There's probably a couple of cards in this binder worth $10. Chaos what? Chaos Lord from Ice Age. Yeah, I like it. But definitely super cool binder. Let's look through some of these other stacks of... 20 cents. 20 cents? Man, I'm just making out. Let's see, uh... Let's see what's in these other... Here, hold this for me. See these other bolt. Another bag of bulk. There. Let's let's take this other bag of bulk out. I love this bulk land. It's great. People really don't appreciate some good old bulk land. Alright, let's take a oh. That's okay. That's okay. Another bag within a bag. Oh. What else we got here? So that, I remember them saying that there's partial commander decks in here or something so this must be one of the partial commander decks it's one of these newer no it isn't lies it's land <laughs> some cool old ice age land there's a jubilant sky bonder what's in here Random crap. Let's get this back in here. I am four. Don't, don't do that, really. Look at that. Okay. Cool land. Starting to get older land. <coughs> Excuse me. Seaside Haven. Cool. A bird token. Look up at the at the cards, Lily. Can you hold it up and look at the cards? Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, another grinning totem. Sweet arena of ancestors. That's probably worth a buck or two. Look at the cards, Lily. What are you? Doing? See like that. What's that? Oblivion Stone. 
Lofty Denial. Wash out. Cool. Look at the crab. I don't think I've ever seen that card before from Ice Age. I have almost a complete set now. Whole bunch of protection from color cards. All right, what's in here? New stuff, new stuff, new stuff. Who cares? Is it all new stuff? I think so. Yeah, it's just a, oh, there's a couple old cards at the end. What, Lily? Look over here. What, Lily? I said it looks like it's normal. Normal? Mm-hmm. Normal cards? Mm-hmm. These are all new. Yeah. Makes me wonder where this crap came from. Like, <coughs> it must have gotten donated. Okay. You don't want to hold it anymore? Yeah. Probably to help pay for it. It's awesome. It seems to me like somebody associated with it just had a binder. Maybe. This is probably like a baseball binder or something. It's just somebody's collection. Maybe they just bought the binder from the thrift store or something. Maybe. And then just put the cards in a thrift store binder. I mean, it was pretty cheap for a binder. I think it was only like a dollar. It was a dollar thirty-nine. There's no way. Yeah. There's definitely some cards worth money in this. What's behind here? More garbage. Ooh. I swear this is the most hodgepodge random crap I've ever seen. It's like <coughs> out of nowhere there's like a there's like a six sixth edition card. It's like what the hell? You you usually don't see this. You usually see like all new cards or all uh old cards. This person like Collected for, collected for uh, a couple years back in the day, and then stopped, and then started collecting again, and then died. I mean, that's kind of what you've done without like the dying part. Yeah. Ooh, Tomb Stalker. It's weird because like I don't I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of every goddamn card, so uh, it's funny looking back at some of these videos and be like, wow, I just completely looked over a forty dollar card or something. Like months later, when I finally get through going through all this stuff, and some of these cards they flash pan like they're they're worth like ten bucks out the gate, and then all of a sudden they're worth like. 20 cents and then they stay worth 20 cents forever because they get reprinted 17 times scroll of gristle brand i remember back in the day when avison restored was out this card was like i think it was like 50 cents to a dollar and now it's just worth nothing See, that's like really new. That's from like a couple sets ago. I don't know what set that is. That must be some kind of commander deck or something. Sign Blood, Demonic War. Nothing too crazy.
we already go through this? Oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. Lily! Oh. Some more Kamigawa. I liked Kamigawa. I don't care what anybody says. I liked Kamigawa before it was cool. Site War. I like the old clockwork stuff. I used to have a really fun clockwork deck. I remember in Scars of Mirrodin when that was in Standard. That was a cool time to play. It was Standard during Scars of Mirrodin. And Mirrodin Besieged. When Poison Tokens and Planeswalkers started showing up. The rules got ridiculous. That's all new stuff. Maybe as far back as Mirrodin and Champions, like, what, 2002, 2004-ish. Alright guys, we got one more bag. <coughs> Lily! What's she doing? What's this? Oh, whoops. Trying to do this one handed sucks. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be all new stuff. I can tell just from the ink on the sides. I don't even know what. What set is that? That's. <coughs> MOM. I don't know. Newer set, I don't know. Yeah, these are all new cards. It's probably worth garbage. Somebody bought a fat pack. So it looks like about looks about like nine booster packs or something. Cool. Starting to get down to the end here. Oh, old 11th. Dominaria. Man, I love drafting Dominaria. And nothing real old. There's the scars. Area jump start. Eros. Eros was fun to draft too. And your masters. This collection encompasses everything. There's gonna be a lot of bulk. Oh, that, uh, thrift store across the street from Target, it's closed. Uh, it's just closed. the Hope of the Valley? No. The one that I said is in that same shopping area out of that, uh, furniture store. The one we go to all the time? No, where Target is. Across the street from Target is that furniture store. Oh, there was a thrift store there? I told you there was a little thrift store over there. It's just closed. Oh, it's probably... I, it was, I think it was more of an antique store. No, it's clothing. Oh, it was clothing? It's all clothing. I hit it up on YouTube. It's a really skinny, long store. And it's just a couple racks of clothing. There is nothing of value in this.
Man. Tell you what. This is all garbage at the end. Grab a little stack. Origins. This is like just draft garbage. Ooh, uh, what's that two-headed giant uh, set? I can't remember. <coughs> Theros. Syndicar or Eldrazi. Nothing. Just garbage. Alright. We got one more bag within a bag. And we're done. Let's see if I can not make a mess. Oh, I'm making a mess. See, look how clean the ink is. I already know I'm going to have a bad time. Well, all the other stacks of cards were really cool. This last two stacks were just boring new junk. But I think the first couple stacks more than made up for the fact that this stuff sucks. Who knows, I might have close to some complete sets of commons from this too. Look at that. So much from this uh, Modern Horizons 2. That's a cool mirror. It's all Modern Horizons 2, isn't it? Yep. Well, that's, uh, that's my random stacks of crap. And the pretty cool binder that I got for hardly nothing. So, that's about it. I, I couldn't identify something really expensive from this. But, <coughs> uh, low-grade price stuff is uh, always welcome at my store. So, go stop by my store. Maybe you'll see some of this for sale at uh, Cabal Coffers. Uh, CabalC.com. Look me up on eBay, TCG Player. I sell all kinds of random crap, cool collectibles, rare books. Alright, have a good one.